There has been so much that has gone on within the last 24 hours. Whether you come and see me as hate or you come and you see me as love, my goal is to influence you. So I was 17 at the time, I believe. I slept on the couch, but I, I made sure to stay up all night because I was paranoid. I, I wasn't sure what he was going to do. So. And I thought I was done. The thought did come in my head. What people are going to say online about me? Are they going to talk about all the bad things I did? Right. Welcome back to another video on the Curtis Price channel. Today's topic of conversation is family friendly channels who use their content to allegedly lure in underage girls. Sound familiar perhaps? Could this be Curtis's 47th Anision video? Well, not quite, but we are working on that. Today's video is actually based on a similar situation, which allegedly slipped under everyone's radar. It would consist of receipts, video proof, even an interview with the victim which was conducted by my friend Tamimi. And you know, she also has a YouTube channel, check it out, eh, she's alright. However, before any of that, I need to fill you in on who the alleged suspect is. This is a YouTuber known as I'm Jay Station, aka Jason Ethia, from Canada, who is 29 years old. He mainly targets a young audience and posts what I can only call the realest content on YouTube. Summoning Sonic.exe at 3am challenge. Kermit the Frog calls Miss Piggy on FaceTime. Whoa, 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 hang on a bloody second. Kermit the Frog communicating? <laughs> Well, Jay Station never told us ketamine was involved. But before we jump into deep waters, let's just have a look what kind of example Jay Station is setting for his very, very young audience. You can see right through your That's shirt. That's insane. What the hell? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh hey, 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 what are you doing? What the hell? Oh, Jay Station, and I'm sure that's exactly what your young audience wanted to see. A 29-year-old man's penis. What if I told you that a person in that house that night was in fact only 16? Because, uh, that guy holding the iPad was. His name is Jay Hills. He also appeared in Jay Station's gay portion video, which caused a lot of controversy. Now, I'm not saying Jay Station is romantically connected to Jay Hills in any way, but it's kind of weird to have a 16-year-old boy in your house pretending to x-ray vision your own penis. <laughs> what the? But this isn't the alleged victim I was actually talking about, this was just an example to kick things off. Even though Jay Hills is still on the school register, which allegedly is a different register to what Jay Station belongs on. <laughs> but that was an insight for you all. Now without further ado, follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, and welcome to the darker side of Jay Station. Now judging on the analytics on my last video, it turns out only 30% are actually subscribed. So it would mean a hell of a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button, and chances are, if you enjoy this video, you'll probably enjoy my other videos as well. And you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. Now for J Station. He's a grown man who follows a particular skill known as creating controversy for self-gain, also known as bad clout is still clout. I recently mentioned this in my latest video on Lovely Peaches, which is a woman who pretended to kill her own child for clout. But Jay Station is a different kind of beast. Safe to say, Jay Station's videos are fake, and he's basically the darker version of Morgs, meaning most of his videos consist of summoning evil things, ordering cursed things from the dark web, etc., while still tagged in a young audience. But sadly, this isn't enough for some people, so instead they act on contrary Controversy, which nicely leads on to my next point. This man thought it would be a good idea to upload a video on an Ouija board video summoning XXX Tantacion after he passed away. He then followed up with another summoning video a few months later on Mac Miller when he sadly passed. For some reason, Jay Station assumes it's okay to profit off other people's deaths. But the most cliche thing about these kind of topics is that it didn't stop there. A YouTuber loved by many in the gaming community known as Etika sadly ended his own life. However, Jay Station reacted differently this time. He instead clickbait the title and thumbnail, but the actual video contained him attempting to turn the table and basically call everyone watching the video a bad person for not donating to Etika's family. This was a passive way for creating controversy for self gain while trying to perceive himself as the good guy. But J Station, you are not the good guy in all of this, and I will prove that in the next segment of my video. Now would be a good time to take a visit to HQ and discuss the main point of this video. Then after that, you'll have the pleasure of meeting the Arcane of Sin, who is a plague doctor who will discuss the interview that took place on Tamimi's channel. And by the way, just to let you all know, I do have a very sore throat, but I'm still trying to push out content as much as possible. So please leave a like in my well-being, because Baby Yoda is watching. But without further ado, lads and lasses, here is HQ. Alright, so welcome to HQ. Now you're probably all thinking, bloody hell, where the hell did that blow come from? Well, uh, from between your mother's legs. Now, let's ask the biggest unknown alleged question of all time. 
is Jay Station a nonce? Well, let's just review the information we have here. So Jay Station had a girl appear in his videos who was only 16 to 17 at the time. He travelled all the way to Texas to visit her. A 27 year old man visiting a 17 year old girl. Hello? Who's there? However, these two did spend quite a bit of time together, but allegedly there's no evidence that these two had any sort of romantic connection. But I did find a few things in Jason's videos, which is definitely a rise for concern. Speaking of on the rise, my cock is on the rise every time I expose a nonce. <laughs> She's wearing my glasses, she looks good in them. <laughs> you like it though? Yes, they're cute. Shit. Oh, look, these are high rise. High rise. Yeah, they make me look hot. Nice. nice. Yeah, like what? But this girl was either 16 or 17 at the time and telling her she looks good when she's wearing your glasses. I smell nonce. What's the story about the more you would you like to sing? But this isn't exactly something you say to a young girl now, is it? And she claims that she would look hot in high-rise jeans. That isn't something you reply to, J Station. Nice. What? what the f does that mean? But ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is more to it. He only went and asked her to stay a night in his hotel, didn't he? Why I'm taking a break from you two when we get back to my hotel. Now don't vex me for this, but it does seem strange to be around a 17 year old girl, especially when you yourself are 27. I have to raise the question, is this something he does on a natural basis? If allegedly there is something fishy going on, it's not long until the police get involved. Come on, J Station, what's on the hard drive? Tell us. But as I mentioned, my good friend Tamimi has already uploaded two videos on the situation, but recently she's actually had a conversation with the alleged victim, and this is what she had to say. We didn't pursue any type of romantic relationship, though we did connect on an emotional level if few days after we met. We exchanged texts with each other before we came down. We definitely spent a lot of time together. I believe he stayed a total of five to six days. I spent the night in the hotel once and the rest of the time he would just pick me up from my house. I guess you could say we did become close as friends but we no longer kept in contact due to his current girlfriend. Thank you for being so open about that. I really appreciate it. Did your friendship ever start out as being a fan of his content? How did you guys end up getting in contact? I mean J Station allegedly connected on an emotional level with a 17 year old girl. That's definitely weird considering he was 20 27 at the time, almost 30. And she did in fact confirm that she did stay a night in his hotel room. Why, Jason? Why a 17-year-old girl? Older women are fun as well. No, not that I would know that. I am interested in 18-year-old sex only. Not 40 year olds. However, surely J Station wouldn't use his content and fame to lure in young girls. Right? I don't blame you. Someone with over a million subscribers flies you out all the way to Canada to make videos with you. What are the odds? Do you think he may have been using that as an advantage when coming out to see you? At the time, I didn't think so. But now that I look back, he seems like he was using a fan to his advantage. It was just me and him at his hotel. But he slept on the couch and to be completely honest with you, I didn't sleep while I was there. I wanted to make sure nothing sketchy would happen while I was sleeping. Oh, so it seems maybe allegedly J Station is in fact taking advantage of his fans. A man who owns a channel which targets kids. That's almost as dangerous as a blind man holding an AK-47. But allegedly, J Station does use his content as an advantage to attract very young girls. However, it would make everything worse if he was a manipulator, right? Well, the next part is going to contain an interview and also receipts between J Station and his ex-girlfriend, which involves a lot of manipulation. But for that, I want to hand the steering wheel to the Arcane of Sin. But without further ado, welcome to the memorial of J Station. So, welcome to the memorial of J Station. My name is the Arcane of Sin, and this is where I dissect and operate on the final moments of an individual's career. I am not human. I am not made of atoms. I'm simply shifting between Earth and the Dark Place. Now, we've previously looked upon how he uses his content and fame to lure in young girls. Wouldn't it be a shame if we exposed him for manipulation? You think I'm a joke or some shit, do you? Your daddy the only one to take serious, right? Tell me one other bus driver to listen to. Wake the fuck up, man. Your fam is not rich. I'm gonna ask you nicely. Please, drop out of school. Quit dancing and win. These alleged text messages are between him and his ex-girlfriend. I'm gonna ask you nicely, please drop out of school and quit dancing. As you can see, this man likes to feel as if he's in control, telling girls what to do with their lives. But now, J Station, you must pay for your sins. However, I'm not sure how old his girlfriend was at the time, but it's definitely a rise of concern considering he mentioned the word school. So take that with a pinch of salt, if you will. However, J Station, I'll make a deal with you. 
As they say, there's nothing like a deal with the devil. If there is any more evidence of you trying to control a young girl's future, I will fuck myself. You wanna be a nun? No, you don't. Good luck dancing in your nun place. Or good luck studying for interior design doing that. Dance and interior design is both bullshit. Anyways, yo, you fucked up again, dude. Cause you're not breaking 10,000. You're not reaching nothing but mediocrely the way you play your life. You can drop everything and go and do you too. Or you can live at your mum's house for all your life. But you got till Monday. Well, shit. So J Station started off by mocking his ex girlfriend's career choices and then demanded she made a career decision by a deadline. However, this is very controlling of J Station. Does he honestly believe he's gonna get away with this sort of humiliation? However, his guilty sin does not stop there. He allegedly broke his ex-girlfriend's phone out of temper because they had a disagreement, which is very abusive of you, Jason Ethia. Now I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at the interview that was taking place on Tamimi's channel and finally put a stop to this plastic bag once and for all. Mm, fucking sweat my cock off. How old were you when J Station flew from Canada to Texas to come see you and film videos with you? So I was 17 at the time, I believe. It was 2017, so yeah, I was 17. So there were several videos with you in J Station and it looked like it took place over different days. However, you seem to be wearing the same outfit for two of those videos, which led me and others to suspect that perhaps you spent the night with him at his hotel. So I did, so those three videos that, I think it was three videos, the three videos we did were in like a two day span. So I did spend the night that one night, but like, like I told you, uh, nothing happened. He slept on the couch, but I, I made sure to stay up all night because I was paranoid. I, I wasn't sure what he was going to do. It was just safety concerns. But yeah, I did, I did spend one night with him. We would record them that same day and then post them like a the next day for content. So when you spent the night at J Station's hotel, was it just the two of you alone or did anybody else stay that? night with you guys it was it was just me and him another another fan did come into the perspective but it was a guy so he he just came over and they, they hung out for a little while i don't think he ever posted a video with him but he did come over and hang out and, and that then he left so it was, it was honestly probably just me and him most of the time. Now this individual has confirmed that everything on those receipts from HK was in fact true. She did in fact stay the night in his hotel while being unable to sleep in case something sketchy would happen. And rightfully so. This is a 27 year old man hanging around with a 17 year old after all. And the worst part of this is that his content is in fact targeted towards young children. Which is definitely a thought of worry. However Jason Ethia. It's not just your romantic slash emotional relationships exposing you. The post states that Jason was in fact the most complained about employee in the Costa he worked. Having more suspensions and complaints than any other employee in that Costa history. Was emotionally abusive to his girlfriend at the time. Keyed a woman's car because her daughter, a co-worker of Jason, didn't break up with her boyfriend for Jason. Harassed everyone he came in contact with and pushed away everyone in his life, including his own mother. But he was also the most problematic and complained about employee in the history of Costco's employment. So my friend, you fucked up this time you dingle dairy prick. So ladies and gentlemen, that is in the fact the end of today's video. I truly hope you enjoyed this segment. Please let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to check out my other videos because there are plenty on my channel that I'm sure will hit your binging spot. But without further ado, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you lot in the next video. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them.